So let's say I've selected my sample from a large bivariate distribution, okay, and that's uh, uh, my parent distribution, and that could be something like um, my sample could be uh, salmon, for example, from a salmon farm, um, and I've selected my sample and I'm looking at their weights against their lengths, for example, something like that, and I've calculated the product moment correlation coefficient for my sample, okay? So I've got the sample correlation coefficient ready and it's somewhere written over there, I don't know, okay? Now, the whole point is that I don't know um, the product moment correlation coefficient of the entire population. That would require me to um, actually get all of the salmon out and measure them and then put them back in again, okay? And uh, let's just imagine that there's far too many for me to be able to do that. Um, and so I can't, that's not something that I can do. Okay, so I need something to represent uh, the population. So we're going to introduce uh, a letter that we're going to use. We're going to use the Greek letter rho. So we are going to let rho be the population correlation coefficient. So we're going to use R to represent uh, the sample correlation coefficient, and we're going to let rho be the population correlation coefficient. Okay, and that essentially represents the correlation of the parent bivariate distribution, which I don't know. So our hypothesis test will start with the null hypothesis, which is given its symbol H0, and for the PMCC hypothesis tests that we are going to do, we will always use the null hypothesis as being rho is equal to zero. Okay, it will always be this. So what this is stating is that our null hypothesis, the what and this is what we're the statement that we are starting from is that there is no correlation in the parent population. Okay, that's what we are starting with. That's our initial assumption. And we are going to see whether the evidence we have gathered um, is going to make us consider, well, actually, maybe it's not. Now, there are three alternative hypotheses that we deal with. Okay, so the first one is that rho is negative. Okay, so that means uh, we're testing whether there is a negative correlation between the two variables. Or rho is positive, so there is a positive correlation between the two variables. Or rho is not equal to zero, which means that there is some correlation. So the wording of the question, because it's, it's, it's going to be in context when you see it in an exam, um, you're looking to see things like as one is increasing, the other's decreasing, uh, as one is increasing, the other's increasing, or you might see the word positive as part of it. Here, you're looking to see if, you're, if you've got um, we're testing whether there is any correlation or whether there is some correlation, okay? That is the identifier for when it's going to be not equal to zero. So these are three alternatives. These two are both one-tail tests. And this one is a two-tail test. Okay? And so these are the possible alternative hypotheses, and this is the null hypothesis that we are going to use in this hypothesis test.